All right, another good request here that we might get from a marketing stakeholder who would like to understand if geographic areas where we spend more on marketing typically see more sales. Now, when I look at this request, I see a target variable, something we are trying to explain in kind of a prescriptive way, and that is sales. And we have a hypothesis of a potential driver of sales, which is the amount we spend on marketing. Now, when I hear that, I automatically go to a data science model. And so what we might do is create a data set that is one row per geographic area. Now, the more granular you can get in general, the better read you can get. We benefit, a model benefits from having a lot of different data points that actually makes sense and those are truly unique data points. Sometimes when you're spending uh, money, especially on commercials and such, a lot of times that's done at the DMA level, um, the I think designated marketing area level. And so we might have a data set that's perhaps one row per DMA. And we may even have a data set where we can look at how much money was spent in a certain time period and what the sales were in that time period. Now, keeping in mind, we may want to look at something called a lag effect too. Maybe money spent in a certain time period, a certain month perhaps, maybe it doesn't automatically have a, an impact on sales that time period. Maybe it takes a few months in order to see the impact. So we'd want to consider that as we set up our model, maybe include some lag terms in terms of marketing spend. But setting up a model where we could look at how much money was spent in this time period in this geographic area and how does that impact sales uh, could be a great way to do it now there could be other things that are maybe correlated with marketing spend the size of the area the population of the area uh, demographic aspects maybe other investments that the company is making at the same time it's investing in marketing that we may want to control for uh, models, especially regression, for instance, allow us to control for other things. Now, this entire exercise of analyzing what the impact of marketing was on sales by looking at historical time periods and geographies where we've spent different amounts of money, uh, this entire exercise is often called media mix modeling. It's quite a large industry. A lot of companies want to understand whether their marketing is actually making a difference and help them refine and, and understand where to invest more and where to invest less. So that would be the way I would approach it. Now, a very high level approach wouldn't necessarily recommend it. It would be a little overly simplified, but it's something you could do is perhaps if you took a data set that was one row per geography, maybe even one row per geography, year, or month combination, you could just do a scatter plot where each data point is represented as a dot. Each geography or each geography time period combination represents a dot on a plot and it is graphed based on the marketing spend in that time period in that geography on the x-axis and the amount of sales in that geography in that time period on the y-axis. And you're looking to see if there is a positive correlation essentially now there could be a lot of dots and it could be hard to see that you could do a best fit line through it a lot of dashboarding tools like power bi and tableau allow you to add that best fit line automatically and it can give you an idea um, whether there's a high level correlation but what it doesn't do is it it won't automatically control for all these other factors that might be going on behind the scenes that you could if you're building a regression model in the first approach we talked about. Um, the other thing that you might do as well uh, is rather than plotting what sales were um, and what marketing spend was, you could do kind of a change approach, which kind of controls for other factors about the, that particular geography. And your x-axis would actually be maybe the change in marketing, perhaps the year over year change in marketing for a particular geography, a particular year, the change in marketing spend uh, for that area, for that year, compared to the change in sales in that geography in that year and seeing if that change 
if an increase in marketing spend in a particular area in a particular year is typically correlated with having um, higher sales in that particular geography in that particular year. So a change approach is another way you could, you could do that. Lots of ways you could approach that. I'd love to hear about how you might approach this as well. So leave a comment if you've thought about this.